Hey everyone, it's and I'm back with another stuff. Today is Wednesday, December 1st, and it's the morning time. It's roughly 6 a.m. Central Time. It's actually like 5.45 a.m. Central Time, and I hope you guys are doing well. Let's go, everybody. I've got some great information for you guys today. Man, let's go. Um, we've got spreadsheet Reddit Omi price, of course. I've got a couple of other things to talk to you guys today about. Man, let's go. All right, first and foremost, wow, guys, it's Wednesday, all right? Congrats to everybody out there for making it to December 1st. Let's go, everybody. Congrats to everybody out there. Let's go. Um, next, I wanted to just quickly mention that um, I made a video a couple days ago talking about how I bought that Spider-Man um, for $3.99. I ended up selling that thing for like $5.50 yesterday. Um, and I ended up buying a new piece, well, a piece I already had. I ended up buying a second C-3PO um, on the app. I ended up buying a second Disney C-3PO. Now, I don't really know why I did it. I just, that's what my gut told me to do, first of all. Um, second of all, I don't know, like, diversification kind of is kind of a double-edged sword in some instances, but in this case, what I'm thinking about is I want to have a diverse, like, portfolio on VV of brands, okay? And I wanted to just simply have more exposure to Star Wars. I already had the R2 and the C-3PO, but I wanted to have even more exposure because I think Star Wars is a great brand. I have a lot of Spider-Man pieces. I have a pretty substantial amount of comics on their own. And this is just what my, my thought process was. Obviously, if I need to sell it, I can sell it, guys. No biggie. Um, but that's what my gut told me to do. So I just wanted to let you guys know that that's the move I just made just this morning. I've got still got some gems on the app that I'm, you know, sitting on the sidelines with just in case something comes up. Now, next thing is I have a pack of Pokemon cards here that I wanted to open up. This is Evolving Skies, a newer set that's very, very kind of highly sought after. I wanted to open it with you guys because I was going to open this pack anyways. And so I figured, you know what, let's go ahead and pop it open on the camera. All right, so here's the pack. I already took the code card out. So that's the reverse hollow. And our special card is, oh, wow. Oh, wow, guys. This is a gold Inteleon card. Wow, guys. This is actually a really, really rare card. This is very special. A very, very nice card, guys. I promise you guys that. This is not a joke. This is not a drill. This is such a nice card. Very nice card. Inteleon. Great gold card. Let's go, everybody. Let's go. All right. Wow, guys. That's insane. I can't. Wow. I'm I'm at a loss for words. I need to get a sleep for that. I need to get a top loader for it. We'll do that in a moment. We'll wait for you guys, though. We're not going to force you guys to do anything. I still have more stuff to talk about, though. The normal stuff, spreadsheet, Reddit, Omi price. And we are going to wrap it up right there, my friends. So let's go ahead and pop into this normal stuff here, okay, guys? Spreadsheet will be linked in the description down below. If you need to know the price of any VV NFTs, you're going to want to go to the link in the description down below. You're looking for column H on the market prices tab, as well as column H on the digital comics tab. Okay, guys. Now, I went ahead and I updated all of the comic prices this morning, guys. If you go to the digital comics tab, column H is going to have a header of 12.1, which is today's date. I updated all of these prices this morning. I got the comics that dropped yesterday added to the bottom as well. Don't worry about that. Um, I updated the portfolio calculators. I went ahead and made some new portfolio calculators. All of this stuff should be ready to go. And honestly, a lot of the data is very up to date right now. So it should be good to go ahead and run some portfolio calculations. And of course, I just very much prefer it if you guys get some value out of the data I provide. I am, that's all I ask. That's all I ask. All right, guys, we've got to hop into some Reddits here, of course. We're just going to shout some homies out. We got uh, Triathlon Junk. We've got Mike. We've got Sarah HT. We've got FRX Trader. We've got the LDN Stoner. We've got Elberg UK. We've got Two Tools, my real name. We've got Dr. Remy LeBeau. We've got Severe Ty. We've got Rojas. We've got Vivi Horton. We've got Dr. Remy LeBeau. We've got Laxima, Mile High Swerve, Bogdan Roney. We've got Laxima, 
VV Versum. We're going to wrap it up right there, everybody. Let's wrap it up right there. All righty, guys. And the very last thing I just wanted to really quickly mention was really just the fact that we do have Omi's price trading at 0.00663. Omi can be your homie. I'm not going to be your daddy and nothing in this video is financial advice. Now, let's talk about the quick price updates I did on the comics. Um, what I'd say about it is there are some comics that are surprisingly resilient to any changes. I was kind of surprised by it. Um, a lot of comics dipped a little bit is basically the trend, I would say. A lot of comics dipped like... 10%, I would say, is probably the average. There are some comic series that were a little bit more resilient. I think that this is a sign that there are some comics that are a little bit more sought after. One example is Daredevil. I thought Daredevil's prices were actually quite resilient compared to the pack. I felt the same way about some of the Spider-Man comics. Um, there are a few other comics, so I think there's like a Fantastic Four maybe that's like that and, and some other ones, but um, there was some pretty good resilience with some of the series. Um, with that being said, like most of the, like pretty much across the board, we were looking at like a 10% um, drawdown, I would say on average uh, is, is what it looks like to me. Um, now, that is pretty much all we have today, guys. Hopefully we'll have, um, I mean, I will certainly have another video later on. Hopefully we'll have something special for you guys we're gonna hopefully get there i think we're very close and i'm very fired up about it um and uh with that being said everybody that's really all i have for you guys today um not a ton else going on today again we did pull the gold intellion which is an absolute banger of a card as far as i'm concerned i grabbed this pack from target for like four bucks and then the intellion's a pretty nice card so with that being said everybody that's all I have for you guys today. Have a fantastic Wednesday, guys. Let's keep on grinding. We are so close to Thursday, which, man, I'm telling you, once we get to Thursday, it's going to be smooth sailing. Let's keep on going, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.